and we're back to working office 365 real life scenarios today we're going to create a help desk department we're literally going to set up the whole thing we're going to set up a group we're going to set up all the new people that we're hired we're going to adjust their roles we're going to set them up in service now on top of that so they can actually work the tickets and the system whatever it is that they need we're going to set it up it's going to be a very educational video i hope you like it ladies and gentlemen my name is Irvin, also known as kobo man we have a lot to work on today this is a real life type of scenario we're going to set up entire help desk team and there are quite a few things we have to do if you remember from the last video we've set up a couple of people which is the beginning of our help desk team for this company we've created one user called tracy moore We've made her a tier two help desk. We've gave her some roles. We're gonna add more roles to her because it's gonna be required to do her job. And then we've also made sure that Larry Bird is the manager for the help desk. We also gave him some roles. All of this done was uh, through Microsoft 365 Admin Center. We're going to do work more, but we're going to do rest of the work through Azure Active Directory. And once we're done with that, we're going to create a group, entire group through the through the Azure Active Directory. We're going to add two more people that were hired to work help desk. We're going to assign roles to them through the Azure Active Directory. Matter of fact, let me open it so you can see. And after we're done with all of this, we're going to go inside of ServiceNow. We're going to create new users within service now ticketing system so these people can work help this so they can work all of these tickets that you can see here i'm going to show you all of this all right so let's get it started we're going to start with azure actor directory by the way just real quick uh did you know you can actually buy me a coffee i recently just created a link so that way you can just buy me a coffee if you're interested to do so i really appreciate it if you do there's going to be a link in the description and also in the very first comment pinned by me there's going to be a link again it's not necessary anything like that but if you want to buy me a coffee i'd, I'd appreciate it thank you so much so first thing first let's uh, just kind of recap of what we did real quick and actually do uh, create add more roles to the people we've created the last time so remember it was tracy moore here we are inside of azure Active, azure Active directory under users so we're going to search for users in here we're going to type in tracy more and here she is we're going to click on her so it's a little bit different compared to microsoft 365 admin center the way to add more roles is to actually select assigned roles while you have Tracy Moore open here. So select assigned roles, and we can see that we created a global reader for her so she can read some of the global admin stuff. But of course we need to give her help desk admin role as well through here. So let's do that. And this is done by clicking add assignments. We're gonna click on that and we can scroll down and look for help desk or we can just type in help desk admin. And here it is, we're gonna select that. We're gonna click add and if i refresh here it's going to actually take about 30 seconds to for this to come up and we're going to do the same thing for the new manager now she is tier two so in this case she's basically a lead for the help desk and uh we got to give her these administrative privileges we're going to do this as well for the other ones and what that does is actually basically gives you ability to reset people's passwords and whatnot typical help desk stuff okay come on refresh there it is came up finally so it took about 30 seconds now we have to do that same thing for larry bird larry where's larry here is larry so again assignment roles add assignments and the help desk so here's a quick description in case you missed it it says can reset passwords for nine administrators and the help desk administrator so we're going to select that and click add all right so we're done with that again it, it's going to take 30 seconds for it to update now we have to go back to azure active directory so make sure azure active directory is selected and not users don't go in here because it's different so make sure it's azure active directory selected here and then we're going to go to groups we have to create a group that we've just talked about which is called help desk again we are creating literally we're going we're creating help desk group so they have a way to communicate using themes uh, SharePoint whatever it is that they need or shared email so that literally we're creating a functional help desk uh, group right so here it is here's an example of the groups we've already created so we got you know finance we got deployment team etc this is how we're going to do it here there's a button right here which says create new group it's kind of self-explanatory so we're going to click create new group here are group types and um, we got two different group types we got security and we got microsoft 365 if you look at this real quick it says security groups are used to give group members 
access to applications, resources, and assign licenses. Group members can be users, devices, service, prin service principals, excuse me, and other groups. So what does that mean? So if I select security or leave it security here, this is more for 365 administrators, which is in this case, you and me, right? So we're going to leave this as it is. And uh, we're, I'm sorry, we're going to change it to Microsoft 365. Because if you look at the description for that, it says here, Microsoft 365 groups are used for collaborating, giving members access to shared mailboxes, uh, calendars, files, SharePoint access, and so on. Group members can only be users. And this is exactly what we want help desk because help desk in this case they already have they're going to have a, a help desk administrator privileges where they can change the passwords only for the user accounts and etc in this case we're just creating a group a place for them to have a shared mailbox shared uh, calendars file share points and so on including like teams communication and this and that so microsoft 365 is the group type group name we're going to type in help desk uh, group group email address here is basically helpdesk at uh, cosmicnovo.onmicrosoft.com, which is perfectly fine. I'm going to leave it at that. Group description, I'm just going to type in helpdesk. And here it says membership type. We're just going to leave it assigned. We got other options here as like a dynamic and such. We're going to leave it that because I don't want to make this too complicated. So we're just going to leave it membership type as assigned, meaning that we're going to have to assign the memberships. Here's uh, under here where it says owners. Guess what we're going to add in here? And that would be our friend Larry Bird because he is the manager. So he's going to be able to make some changes when it comes to the group, things like uh, shared email, and he's going to be the owner of that. So he's basically the guy to ask. He may not necessarily know how to do any of that stuff, and that's okay, but he's the one who's going to be approving uh, all of these uh, access types in regards to help desk. Okay, so whether it's any Teams access, shared mailboxes, SharePoint, any, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Here is members here. That's kind of self-explanatory. We got a first member here that we're going to add, and that would be Tracy Moore. We're going to add her as a member of the team. We're going to cr click create. Now we have two more people, uh, two more hires that we've hired for help desk and this is done under users so uh, you know make sure inside of your active directory select users we're going to select add new user and we're going to leave the option here obviously to create the user so we're just going to do it like this if you want to do invite you can do that too but we're going to do create user and here it is it's a little bit different from uh, when it comes to uh, doing it through microsoft uh, 365 admin center where the order is out of whack over there you would type in the first and last name and then later on you would type in the username in this case we're going to have to do it first but we don't necessarily have to do it what i'm going to do actually here it says here name this is basically the display name from microsoft 365 admin center so what i'm going to do for the first user i'm just going to paste the entire name so that i have it here and i'm going to fill out first and last name down here by the way yasin uh, Ledgeguar is one of the people who submitted help desk ticket for my help desk video, which comes out tomorrow. And uh, so we got this filled out. And what I usually do for username is just first name followed by the first letter of the last name. So it's going to be Yasin L. Okay. And you can do auto generate password or you can say, let me create password. I like to, you know, create. So I'm going to set a password that I'm going to tell. Uh, you seen so um, they can log in and change it and here it is we can add groups right here you know the group that we literally just created we're going to select that right we're going to select that we can scroll down and look for help desk or we can search for help desk let's just scroll down in this case and here it is here is our um, help desk we're going to select that so we've added them there we're going to double check over there too to make sure that it actually uh, added in there and here are some roles if we select on roles here we can start to add these roles immediately we don't have to manually go in and do it later so here it is we're gonna do we're gonna give them let's do help desk i'm not gonna give them global reader because that's only for the tier two so i'm just gonna give them help desk admin and um, here this option is just block signing no we don't want to do that this is when somebody is fired or they left the you know left the company we would block sign in and this and that now here is usage location self-explanatory like over there 
it's basically i think over there it says country or something like that uh here we just have to select the you know whatever the location is in this case i'm just going to select the united states job title i'm going to type in help desk analyst department help desk company name um i don't know kobu man's help desk i don't know i just made this up uh it doesn't matter these are just uh semantics meaning that you you know these are not necessarily super important things like for example company name it doesn't necessarily need to be filled out if you are if everybody's working for the same company but if it's a subset company then you might want to uh, specify for example let's let's say that yasin here is a contractor then you might want to type in uh, contractor name so in this case let's pretend kobo man's help desk is a contractor sure why not and here is manager right we know who the manager is we're gonna do larry bird action here larry bird he's the manager we're gonna select that so this one is created and then we got one more with we'll doing one more create user so same thing we're gonna we got sanji again these are people who submitted a ticket through my help desk uh, videos i uh, really appreciate it and again, so we're going to fill this out. We're going to say Sanji for the first name and last name uh, Shaga. And the uh, username is going to be SanGS. All right. So we're going to run, you know, just go through this like we've done it in the, in the previous. All right. So I set the password. I'm going to select the group. Let's see. Help. Help desk select it role help desk help desk admin boom that's done usage location usa united states of america job title help desk analyst department help desk company kobo man's kobo. Can I spell my own name? Kobu Man's Help Desk. All right. And the uh, manager is good old, good old Larry Bird. Mr. Larry Bird, the manager. All right. So we're going to create this. Now let's check the first one, which is Yasin, to make sure that the roles are um, added in there. So we're going to look for Yasin here, make sure that that has been set up correctly, just to double check. Again, once you do this quite a few times and you're comfortable and you're confident, you don't have to do this. This is just us double checking our work. So we're going to check assigned roles. Here it is, help desk administrator. And we're going to click on groups here just to see. And there it is, help desk. So we've set them up, right? The next step is, of course, to tell them what the password is so they can log in, right? And they're going to be forced to check their, uh, you know, change their password, this and that. However, we got to give them. Uh, we got to give them login ids inside of our service uh, service desk slash help desk in this case it's called service now help desk system so as an administrator you can go in here and add users so this is how i'm going to do it uh, groups already in here created here to make it uh, kind of straightforward when it comes to this video so what i'm going to do is actually look for users and I'm going to select users. So under system security, users or users in group. In this case, I'm just going to do uh, users here. So search for users in your left uh, hand side column. And here are some people that actually requested access to this system, which I've granted to them so they can check it out. If you want that, you can also let me know in the comment below. Uh, keep in mind that this instance of this help desk service now has to be woken up sometimes. Uh, but if you let me know, I'll wake it up and I'll give you access so you can look around all right and here it is it's very simple here i'm just going to click new if i click new on the right side here we can fill out some uh information here is a, a user id so for this i'm going to type in for the for the yasin i'm going to type in yasin l just like we've done it over there and i'm going to fill out the first and last name yasin lech guar title help desk analyst department it i don't know if i have help desk in here or service desk customer support sales okay well looks like we have it for now that's okay in the future videos we can change these things and here is email we can fill this out as well 
So let's do this. We're going to need this so that way your scene can get notifications. And here is your scene's email. So I found your scene in Azure Active Directory. I'm just going to copy this and do some copy pasta action, copy paste. And uh, we're going to leave this here. Calendar integration, this is fine. And if you have phone number, you can fill this out. So for example, business phone number, if, if the help desk is uh, 1-800 or 1888. Well, let's do 1-800. 1-800 555 You would fill all of this out, right? You would fill all this out. It's not much to fill out. So, so this is uh, basically created. So we here, we have to just select submit. And then afterwards, we create a password. All right. Now that the user is created, the help desk uh, analyst is created, we're going to have to look for them in here and do uh, a little bit more let's see here yasin here it is yasin and uh we're going to uh, reset the password this is how you set the password from here uh, now you can actually have the option to set the password so if you click on bottom set password you can select to generate new password then you copy it and then you save the password and then you close it don't worry we're going to do this one more time for the other user uh, and uh, for the other help desk analyst, I should say. And while we're here, we're going to add them to help desk group. So if we go down here and select groups, we're going to select edit. And then we're going to add them to help desk uh, group. Okay. And uh, that's that. Now we can convey this information. Uh, Yasin is going to be able to change the password. Now this is different if the whole company is using SSO. That means single sign-on where they use the same login and password for everything else. Unfortunately, I don't have service now set up uh, for that right at the moment because this is my own version of development version of service desk. I don't have single sign-on uh, created, but this is how you do it manually, and this is this could get you uh, started in the right place. All right, so let's add Sanji in there as well. So if I select users again and select new, uh, we're going to add Sanji in there. Okay, we're going to type in user ID Sanji s first name sanji last name shaga title help desk analyst department again we're going to select it here and okay we're going to click submit oh yeah we need the email let's look for the sanji's email sanji here we go Sanji's email is here. Copy pasta. There is that. Uh, then we got 1 800 555 5555 for the phone number. We're going to click submit. We're going to have to look for Sanji again. And here's Sanji. And then we, now we can set the password. Select set password, generate copy save close okay and then we're going to add groups here and then we're going to add to help desk okay i'm going to go over there make sure you do the arrow here and then select save all right ladies and gentlemen i think i'm going to leave it at that and uh let me know if you want me to continue this role playing scenario just like we are right now you know we have created our help desk we got more things that we can talk about and create and add more things to it or we can create totally new teams this and that or would you like me to start moving on to security compliance uh, exchange sharepoint and teams i feel like it might be a good idea to start moving towards exchange and teams and maybe even SharePoint, but you, you just got to let me know in the comments what you would prefer, or we can continue with this type of stuff, whatever it is that you prefer. But I feel like we should start moving to, to exchange and uh, exchange in themes in the next video. So let me know in the comments below, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget tomorrow, a help desk video is coming out as well. So help desk tier two. So yeah, if you want to uh, buy me a coffee. There's a link in the description and in the first comment. Thank you very much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.